This screencast is a quick five minute overview of some of the key concepts in the new Seller Tracker site that we know once people master, they end up much happier. One of the first key concepts is the overall navigation model. In general, when you look to the right, you're going to see your information, my seller, my tasting notes, my wish list. When you look, look to the left, you're going to tend to see things that are global to the site. So if I click wines, that's going to let me browse the site as a whole. Likewise, when I use this search drop down, um, these top three here correspond my seller, my tasting notes, my wish list, versus the global set of wines, tasting notes, people, etc., um, that cut across the entire site. So a really, really key concept. One of the other major differences with the new site is it's quite a bit more dynamic than the old site. So in general, when you see an arrow, that's an indication that if you click it, something is going to either drop down or expand and collapse. And the site is going to remember that. So if I go ahead and collapse this, and collapse this, and collapse this, um, Next time I come back to this page, all this information is going to be that way. So um, actions definitely have implications. Same way, I can quickly browse popular wines by price range, etc., um, or come back to really what is the, one of the most popular views on the site here, which is show me the most recent tasting notes from other people on wines in my cellar. You see these VCR type controls, and that's an indication if I click that I'm going to immediately get a new uh, set of notes that I can go ahead and read right here in place without needing to go anywhere. Um, just much more dynamic. I see a little arrow here that's going to hover down and give me some uh, extra commands, etc. Um, so in general, when you see those arrows, that means there's typically something good there. Now here's probably one of the most important single um, menus on the entire site. Quick links, this is going to easily let me get at all of the core commands on the site printing, adding, drinking, you name it. It's all right here. Um, and any view on the site, I can quickly come along, save it, give it a custom name, and then it's going to appear forevermore on your own personal list of saved searches on any computer you log in on. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and click into my seller. Um, probably the single most important menu on the entire site is right here, this one that says in my seller. It lets me easily toggle between every wine I've ever touched Pending deliveries purchased, consumes, or ready to drink, or otherwise known as the drinkability report on the old site. So again, you see an arrow, that means there's a menu, you go ahead and hover. Um, the old site, there was a summarize by menu, same thing right here. Um, if you want to change the number of rows that show up on a page, there it is. So you see those arrows, that means put your mouse over it, life's good. Um, one of the other uh, more powerful features of the new site that was very buried in the old site was the ability to easily do an advanced search. So I can go ahead and roll down this set of narrow results and I can say, okay, let's, uh, let's show me my seller uh, just for Washington wines. And this is going to come back immediately to a filtered view um, of my seller. Um, I could go ahead and save that and say, let's do Washington wines. And now that's going to be on my menu forevermore. Collapse this back down. Um, so again, there's a lot of information sort of, and power right here at your fingertips once you get used to it. Now probably the biggest change in the new site is the introduction of what we call the side panel. So the default experience in the old site was always to search and then drill down to the page for the wine. We wanted to actually try to make it so you didn't need to do that all the time. So I've got a search here. If I click on a wine, you're going to see that the side panel immediately refreshes. And basically all of the core commands and information and everything I could ever want is right there in that side panel. So there's actually, in most cases, you don't even need to go to the page for wine. And let's say I come along and I want to add a tasting note. Um, when I click Save and Done, this is going to take me back to my seller. The tasting note will be added. And in fact, the same wine is selected. I'm exactly where I left off. Um, or let's say I wanted to... Uh, um, drill on down. Let's try a, a different search. I'm going to say bets. Quick search of my seller. I'm going to pick this one here and I'm going to drill down to the page for the wine for whatever reason. One of the other really key concepts here is the concept of a breadcrumb trail. So this is going to show me where I came from. So if I want to get back to that search, I can hit back or I click it and I'm back immediately where I left off. Now if folks don't like that model, that's fine. You click hide side panel and at this point you've got a view that's much more akin to the old site. Everything's a hyperlink. You click you go to the page for the wine, um, and there's also, you can do the same thing on the page for the wine itself. You can use the side panel. Even so, one of the other new features here, again, very dynamic, I hover over a wine icon, and I'm going to get a hover card that's going to pop up and give me all the sort of key commands and a summary of information um, about that. And now perhaps the most powerful feature of the new site, adding wines to your cellar. 
So imagine you get a newsletter from a particular producer or you come back um, with a mixed case. Um, in the old days, you'd have to basically search for each individual wine, go to the page for the wine and do that. So in this case now, I've done a search and I can just start checking off wines and you're going to see there's a shopping cart on the right here that's immediately starting and filling. And by the way, remember those hover cards I mentioned? Just hover over a vintage, you're going to get the hover card. Hover over a wine here, you're going to get the hover card. Really just a lot more information right at your fingertips. And so now I've gone, I've, I've picked six or seven wines. You can actually do um, secondary searches here uh, and check off more wines if you want to and you'll see this shopping cart has grown. Now when I go continue to step three, on one screen this is going to present all of the wines. I can quickly change quantities, prices, locations. I could type in a new one here or just pick from the existing ones. Maybe these are all pending delivery and that's fine, in which case I can specify with a nice easy calendar control here when I'm going to take delivery. When I click save and done, eight wines will be immediately added to my cellar all in one shot. If I wanted to go through those individually, of course I could. Um, and in fact, unlike the old site, let's say I'm uh, um, adding these to specific locations and bins, I have the ability to go ahead and do that here and quickly pull down a menu, you name it, uh, much more powerful. Or if I want to like the old site, just specify one location and bin for all the wines, I can do that. I tend to prefer bulk editing myself, just get a lot of information in one shot. So super powerful feature, very customizable. But in case that all still makes you nervous, that's okay. Life is good. Remain calm. Hover on down here. Come to classic mode. And here you go. Everything you're used to. We've got the old site. We're going to maintain it for the foreseeable future. Um, we're going to monitor over the next few years how much people are using the old site, the new site. We're going to continue to get feedback and improve the new site, but the old site is there. Or you can just go to sellertracker.com slash classic, and you've got everything that you're used to. So anyway, I hope that uh, is a useful overview, and thanks for using Seller Tracker.